Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and you should definitely subscribe down below so that you never miss out on a video from me. If you're not new here, then you might be a little confused about this video because I've never done anything like this on my channel before, but I <laughs> I recently fell down a rabbit hole and I wanted to share that with you guys because it's been kind of crazy. So I fell down an anti-MLM rabbit hole and let me tell you, I have never been so invested in something in my entire life. If you do not know what an MLM is. MLM stands for multi-level marketing. <laughs> Long story short, it's a pyramid scheme. I mean, we're not like, we're not gonna beat around the bush. We're not gonna, well, they're slightly, like, it's a pyramid scheme. And if you don't know what a pyramid scheme is, I don't have the technical definition. I guess I could look it up, but as far as my understanding goes, the way that I would define it would be a business where the center of the business model is recruitment. So where really the only way that you make any money in the business or that the business makes any money is recruiting other people to join the business and forming kind of this like pyramid shaped business model basically but the big thing that differentiates a traditional pyramid scheme from an MLM is the fact that MLMs have products that they sell and that's kind of their like scapegoat I guess they're like oh no we're not a pyramid scheme because like we have products but I mean that like it's literally the same thing like they it's a pyramid scheme but anyway so I kind of wanted to give you guys like my little story I guess I have never been in an MLM and I never will be but I I also didn't really understand MLMs or pyramid schemes before like this whole like thing happened to me. I knew that a pyramid scheme was like a sketchy business and that it wasn't good and the same thing with MLMs like I just knew that it was like a sketchy business it wasn't good like you didn't want to become a part of one like whatever but I didn't really know what it was or what businesses were or weren't MLMs or like any of that kind of stuff. I very much was like ignorant on the subject but just the other day I got contacted on Instagram by a Monate girl. Um, Monet is a very big MLM. It's a hair care company. <laughs> they sell like hair care products. I, they just recently came out with a skincare line, but like they started out with hair care and that's like their biggest product, I guess, is all their hair care stuff. So I got reached out to by a Monet girl. And like I said, before this, I didn't really know what MLMs were. This girl DM me and I will put a screenshot up of the DM as well. It says, Hey Mary, I came across your profile and I seriously love your content. I love the content confidence and charisma you have. It's not always an easy thing to have those traits. Props to you, girl. I'm curious, do you make money off your IG? Is that something you'd be interested in? I'm trying to expand my circle with more ambitious, genuine women, and I honestly think you would kill it in this business. I look forward to talking with you. At least she didn't start it off with hey girly. At least she used my name. I talked to this girl for a little while, and I actually got her to send me their kind of like recruitment video, their explanation of the whole business. I watched it. It's like 30 minutes long. I'm probably gonna do a video reacting to it. Not reacting to it because I've already seen it, but kind of like going through it, breaking the whole thing down, commenting on it, whatever. So my, uh, my first instinct when she sent me that message was, okay, yeah, this is like not good. This is, this sounds fishy. Like random people don't usually DM you on Instagram for that kind of thing. Now, being a content creator, you do get DMs from brands sometimes who maybe want to collab with you, but I don't normally because I don't have that big of a following on Instagram. So obviously we're a little over 4k here on YouTube right now, but my Instagram is still mostly just people that I like actually know in real life. So if brands do want to collaborate with me, I almost always only get emails because they've come from my YouTube channel because I don't have a big enough following on Instagram for any brands to want to collaborate with me on Instagram. So I knew from the get-go that this was like not good, but I wanted to see where she was going with this because I was kind of curious about the whole thing. So I asked her what kind of business it was because I again like I didn't know what brands were pyramid schemes I just didn't know anything about it so I kind of wanted to weasel my way in a little bit so I asked her what kind of business it was and she said so I am an influencer for a naturally based vegan hair and skincare company an influencer I don't know about that one. That's a word that they love to use, I've noticed, is the word influencer because so many people nowadays want to be an influencer because they're just put up on these pedestals. People have so much like fame and fortune from them and they're like, oh, an influencer? Like, 
I want to be an influencer and you're saying it's this easy and whatnot. First of all, Monet and Beachbody and all these people, all these huns are not influencers. Like, let's just get that straight. That is not an influencer. It's not that easy to become an influencer. It's very, very difficult. I, like, it's hard. <laughs> I wouldn't even consider anybody an influencer until they actually have influence. So, like, I don't consider myself an influencer because who am I influencing? Like, I don't have influence over anybody. Like, nobody knows my name. Nobody, like, knows my channel, whatever. Like, I have a very small fan base and I'm not really influencing anybody. I consider myself a content creator because I create content, but I don't think you really are an influencer until you genuinely have an influence over a loyal audience. So, like I said, becoming an influencer is very difficult. To grow an audience like that is a difficult thing to do. So these girls, they're not, they're just not influencers, but they love to say that because if somebody sees that and they're like, I can be an influencer? No. You can't be. <laughs> I mean, you could be, but not through an MLM. Anyway, so then she says, I use social selling to promote my business. I market, train, and mentor in the social media industry. Basically, I promote products via Instagram, teach people how to start their own social media-based business, and support them through the process. Unlike regular brand deals, it has no income limit. Is this something you'd be interested in? If so, I can totally send you a video explaining more. So let's see. <laughs> teach people how to start their own social social media based business. Um, a social media based business is a business that relies on your social media being monetized. That's what a social media based business is. Using social media to promote another business isn't a social media based business, that's just advertising. And also she said, do you make money on your Instagram? She asked me that, do you make money off of your Instagram? If you wanna know the answer to that, currently no. I make money off of YouTube, I am monetized on YouTube, but I don't make money off of Instagram. But to monetize your Instagram would be to be paid for posting on your Instagram. And that's not what these girls are getting paid for, they're not getting paid to post on their Instagram, they're getting commission from sales. So again, and they're using social media to advertise that's not their business so that's just again completely misleading both of these messages that she has sent me if I was somebody who had no idea and, and I didn't really know about MLMs but I know about social media so I knew it wasn't what she was letting on but if I was somebody who had no idea about MLMs no idea about how like social media businesses worked or making money off of social media I'd be sitting here being like oh my gosh I can become an influencer I can make money through my social media my social media can be my business I'm gonna be like a famous fucking like youtuber or something like I don't know she's making it sound like you can be a social media influencer with her if you join her team and that just isn't how it how it works they're literally using the dream of being an influencer that so many people have these days to, to recruit people into their pyramid scheme and it's like hello okay anyway so that's the first thing my response to that was I definitely like to look into it more first haha -ha. so yeah if you could send me that video that would be awesome I just wanted her to send me the video I already knew that I wasn't about to join her MLM but I wanted her to send me the video so I played the role of oh I'm interested in your business opportunity that was my first kind of experience with an MLM was her reaching out to me and I had asked my mom about it too I was like hey like do you know anything about this like what's the deal what Whatever. and she told me that it was like Mary Kay and Avon and again that didn't really help me any because I didn't really understand what an MLM was or what a pyramid scheme was I just knew they were sketchy businesses and I didn't know that Mary Kay and Avon were sketchy businesses because when those were big I was obviously very young and just kind of was like oh like people are selling makeup cool like I don't know I didn't think anything of it I didn't know literally like the next day after that conversation with that girl I was scrolling through my YouTube like recommended page talking about MLMs it was an anti MLM video and that was Kiki Chanel which I'm sure if you guys are watching this video because it's an anti MLM video that you've probably heard of her because she's very big in the anti MLM community as far as I'm concerned um and I watched that video and I immediately was just so interested so intrigued like I wanted to know everything there was about these businesses and about everything so I went to her channel and I just binged every single one of her anti MLM videos and I fell down the anti MLM rabbit hole and after I finished watching all of her anti MLM videos I started watching a bunch of other people's MLM videos it just it just kind of sparked something in me after you know listening to everybody talk about it getting the information completely now understanding what an MLM is what a pyramid scheme is what the issues with them are the horrible things that these people do to recruit and to make money it like bothers me like it genuinely bothers me I decided that I wanted to talk about it because because it bothers me <laughs> like 
like because I hate it and I get so mad like I get so angry listening to these people try and recruit people and try and sell and all this it just oh it's so frustrating so I wanted to sit down and talk about it so after I kind of like learned all these things from all these people on YouTube watching these anti MLM videos I learned <laughs> that my mom was in an MLM she worked for Avon I believe I think that's the one she told me she worked for and then she also worked for this purse company I can't remember the name of it but I do remember specifically getting a purse it was weird it was these purses that you could like change the outside of it so like they had these magnetic like covers that went over them so that you could change it for like each outfit or whatever and again I was in like elementary school at this time I had no idea what an MLM was I had no idea what she was doing I just thought that she was doing this because it was her job like I don't know and according to her she didn't really do much recruiting she was mostly in it for the discounts of the products and then I also kind of started realizing that these other little experiences that I've had throughout my life were related to MLMs. So um, another experience that I had with it was I was at work one day when I used to work at Chick-fil-A, if you guys don't know. I used to work at Chick-fil-A. That's actually where I worked when I started my channel. We had a manager there who was uh, a young guy. He was very like clean cut, nice boy looking, you know, like somebody that you would look at and like you would feel like you could trust him just because of the way that he like looked. Um, I think he was like 25 maybe, I think. Um, I was at the cash register taking some orders and this guy asked about him, like pointed to him and asked about him. And I was like, yeah, that's my manager. And then he was like, can I talk to him? And I was like, sure. Like people talk to asked to talk to the manager all the time so it wasn't like anything weird so I called him over and I was like hey like this guy wants to talk to you and I like was listening to the conversation and the guy was like yeah like I have this business opportunity that I think you would be like great for um like take my card like contact me like I'd love to get you in this like whatever and it seemed very weird like the guy was in a suit which is not normal for people coming into Chick-fil-a and it was super weird like you could tell that there was something off and I was like what and I asked him about it and he was like yeah just like some guy trying to get me to join his pyramid scheme like he knew and he was like I'm just gonna brush it off whatever and I was like oh but I had no idea what that meant <laughs> like I again I knew that a pyramid scheme was a sketchy business but I had no idea what it was but now I know like oh my gosh he was he was trying to get him to join his MLM his pyramid scheme whatever and a connection was made um another connection that I made was I used to have a friend whose mom worked for 31 and the thing is is that I had no idea that 31 was an MLM I didn't know it was a pyramid scheme because most MLMs their products suck like 99% of the time MLM products are terrible they're scams like they're way overpriced they're terrible products whatever well 31 was a good product I mean everyone was obsessed with their 31 for the longest time in like the mid 2000s like 2010s I want to say so I mean my elementary middle school mind thought that it was just a company that everybody loved and I guess in some ways it was I also had a friend whose mom would throw like these 31 parties and I was like oh that's interesting but again didn't know anything about it I was in elementary school whatever but now I realize that it 31 was an MLM and I had no idea like that that kind of blew my mind when I found out because I had a 31 lunchbox Same thing with Scentsy. Scentsy is like one of the few MLMs who actually had a good product that blew up and that people actually enjoyed But it was an MLM and I had no clue if I can make a few videos at least To help spread the message or point people in the direction of the people who really do have a ton of knowledge on it Like Kiki Chanel and like some of the other girls I've been watching and they can learn about how awful these companies are and either not join them or get out of them then I'll be fine with that because I'm just like waiting for within the next few years after I graduate for some of the girls that I went to high school with to be DMing me on Instagram being like hey I have a business opportunity for you but what I wanted to do today was a tell you how I kind of got sucked into all this and B I wanted to go through this girl's Instagram and just go through some of it I wanted to watch her story a little bit um, throw up some screenshots of some stuff like it's just it's crazy um she has some stuff on her story so I'm gonna check that out first and see okay so the first thing that we have here is the 420 bundle this was posted yesterday because yesterday was 420 so they're doing a sale for 420 which is interesting I mean that's not a terrible tactic but it's just interesting um, we got some more just like informational posts and then at the end of all of the sale information she has one of the like 
question bubbles and she says act quick and it says drop your email if you're interested. Here's a quick word of advice. If a hun has any kind of like interaction thing on their Instagram story, don't interact with it. Don't drop your email. Don't say anything because they will never leave you alone. If they think you have the slightest interest in what they're doing, they will never leave you alone. They will DM you forever about joining their MLM. Okay, cool. So we got some videos going on here. So this is exciting. Gosh, I can't even tell you guys how good it feels to just be home, be able to lay in my own bed, be able to see Miller. Come here. Come here. Be able to see Miller, but already miss everybody so much and I'm ready for the next trip. <laughs> Um, but seriously, having two fully paid for trips back to back, what a freaking dream. I'm so excited to show you guys all the content that we took and everything like that, but I literally just can't say it enough. I am so freaking grateful for this business, this opportunity, the girls, and everything just involved with it, but I'm taking my sleep drops and doing some late night work and then going to bed because I need to catch up on like a week's worth of sleep. <laughs> um, I guess I should put some context to that story. I've been following this girl since she DM'd me a few weeks ago, so I know kind of like what she's talking about there. So she just went on a trip to Vegas with her like MLM, whatever. And that's like one thing that these people really harp on is like the free trips that you get to take. Like the business, the company pays for all these trips for you to go on. And from watching these other people who know about the business and know about these things, I have come to find out that that is not true. That most of the time, 99% of the time, these are not free paid for trips. That these people end up actually having to pay for their own trips. And what's funny is that I was watching her Instagram story when she was coming home from Vegas and she was driving. Like she was driving home. Now I don't know where she lives, but the whole point of the free trip, they tell you that airfare is paid for, they tell you that food is paid for, they tell you that hotels are paid for, like all this stuff. And they actually talk about that in their little video that she sent me so I know that they advertise that to their girls but we found out that that's not true and if they're paying for airfare then why are you driving to Vegas that doesn't make any sense that's the context of that and so the one thing that I kind of wanted to point out from that story in particular is the fact that she needed to catch up on a week's worth of sleep and now I get like when you go on a trip a lot of times you don't sleep the same because you want to get up early and do stuff and whatever but in context to this business they always advertise about how you can live this life of leisure and make money from your phone basically barely doing anything and just making all this money and then going on these like crazy free trips and like all this stuff but she's saying that she like, didn't sleep at all and that they took all this content and whatever and trust me I know about content trips like for real influencers that's a thing like people go on trips strictly just to get content but that's not what they're advertising to people when they're telling them to sign up for these things they're telling them to sign up because you can go on these great vacations well it's not a vacation if you're working you know what I mean so then she also has on her story um somebody that she obviously recruited recently it's a welcome to the team post it's a picture of this girl and it says this beauty started her business after sitting on it for a month struggling with money but already so driven and committed i cannot wait to see where this takes you in the next six months to a year and can't wait to see how your life changes and honestly i just feel so bad for this girl because if she was struggling with money or if she thought she was struggling with money before she's really going to be struggling with money now that she's joined this mlm i don't know if you're watching this how much you know about mlm but let me just give you a little nugget of information and that is that 99% of people who join MLMs make no money. 99% of people either break even or lose money actually. Literally only the top like 1% of the company makes any kind of money and those are the people that got in when the company first started. So if you join an MLM that's been around for any amount of time, you're not making any money. You're doing hella work and you're not making any money. So I feel really bad for this girl because she's in trouble. <laughs> um, so that's everything that's on her like just normal story but she does have a ton of highlights so this is great one of the highlights is opportunity so I'm assuming talking about the business opportunity so we're gonna go through and watch some of that stuff because I'm sure there's gonna be some great things okay this post is really good so um, it's like a little collage of herself that she put together and it says I want to make money with you you will have training calls resources and everything you need to be successful in this business as long as you commit to putting in the work you will be on track for free trips five paychecks a month, a free caddy, and 
freedom. So the key words there is as long as you put in the work. That's not what they advertise to people. When when they're trying to get people to sign up who are on the fence, they're telling them that this is an easy business. You just work from your phone. Like you don't have to be putting in that much time. You know, and you make all this money. Like that's the appeal of it is that it's not really a job. You're just on your phone like you are all the time and yet you're making all this money. Well, that's not really the case because then they put in little tidbits tidbits like this when they post stuff where they're like if you put in the time if you put in the work if you whatever but that's not what they're telling people when they sign up that's not what they're telling people to convince them to join and then you find out that you actually have to do all this work and you make no money like it's the complete opposite of what they're telling you also the free Cadillac they do talk about that in the call um, I'm excited to react to this call actually and and do that video for you guys yeah the free Cadillac free Cadillac. That's an interesting one. A lot of companies, a lot of MLMs do that where they give away a free car. If you like reach a certain point in the company, there's always a catch. So we'll talk about that once we do that call. But I mean, five paychecks a month sounds great until you find out that each paycheck's like five bucks and then you make nothing the whole month. And freedom, it doesn't sound like freedom when you're having to work from the beach, when you're having to work when you're going on vacation. Oh, this one's really good. I did come across this before. So this says, you have the ability to change your life. You can better yourself. A second income wouldn't hurt anything, which I don't disagree with. A second income, multiple income streams is always a good thing to do. Always, but not with an MLM. Um, and then it says, you have time. Stop making excuses. Decide you want better for yourself yesterday and stop waiting for the right time because now is the right time. This is something that I've seen with a lot of M um. MLM girls, a lot of boss babes, is that they like to get on their Instagram story and kind of talk down to literally everybody. And it's just funny because if you're trying to get somebody to come work for your company or you're trying to make sales, um, usually the best business practice isn't to insult them 24-7. Like, if somebody comes into your clothing store and you're, you know, you're just, you really want to make this sale, you're not going to call them fat. You're not going to say that they, that their wardrobe now sucks and that they need to buy your products or your um, clothes to upgrade. Like, you you wouldn't insult them to get them to buy your stuff but that is all that these MLM girls do is insult people to get them to join their, their business opportunity so she says you have time stop making excuses so that's a big thing that people normally tell these girls when they DM them and try to get them to join is they're like oh I don't have time but really they just don't want to join their pyramid scheme and then these girls get pissed they're like you have time stop making excuses and it's like that's not like if I'm reading that and you're telling me that I'm making excuses and all this stuff like that doesn't make me want to join your business. You insulting me and telling me that I do have time and that I'm lying to you doesn't make me want to join your business. <laughs> okay, this is this is a good one too. Can we just talk about how I get to work from right here today? Like, are you kidding me? Okay, this one's kind of nice, but wow. Such a blessing, like, can you believe this? That's kind of crazy. I literally get to sit right here and watch the waves and work from my phone. Hey, what's up, buddy? So she's on the beach with her boyfriend. They're just laying, chilling, and she's talking about how awesome it is that she gets to work from from the beach with her boyfriend sitting there like and again same thing with the other beach post that she posted if you're spending the day at the beach with your boyfriend if I'm going to the beach with my boyfriend spending the day why would I want to be working while I'm doing that that doesn't sound like freedom that just sounds like having to work no matter what you're doing like am I the only one that feels that way like I just wouldn't want to oh this is really good okay so they love to clap back at people who call their um, business a scam and a pyramid scheme so that's what this is this is another person's post that she reposted on her story and it says everything's a scam to people who lack creativity to do more for themselves again right out the gate with insulting people to try to get them to join your business what's really a scam is that you can work five years at a job without a single raise what's even crazier is you'll work for them 40 plus years and decide to live life at 60 make it make sense now these people are so funny <laughs> they think that there's either the normal nine to five corporate for 40 plus years or an MLM. Like, they don't understand that there's other, like, jobs out there that aren't a normal corporate nine to five job. And so that that's what they base their entire selling point on, is like, you don't want to work a corporate job, so you have to join my MLM. So she's talking about, like, you can work at the same job for five plus years and never get a raise, and then work there for 40 plus years and not really live your life till 60. Here's the thing, is that there's a lot of other ways that you can gain financial freedom legitimately, 
other than joining an MLM. Something that a lot of people don't understand is that retirement isn't an age, it's a number. So if you can figure out how to make money work for you and to find those multiple income streams, you can retire whenever you reach that number for you. Whenever, whatever that number is for you, when you reach it, you can retire. And there's many other ways to do it that's not joining a pyramid scheme. Not to mention the fact that there are some people in this world who just wanna work a nine to five. They just wanna work a normal job and come home to their family and then put their money into a 401k and retire at 60 and just be done with it. Like that's that's the dream for some people. Like I don't understand it. I don't want that, but that's the dream for some people and that's fine. Whatever floats your boat. So for them to assume that every single person hates their job and hates their nine to five and wants out of it, that's just not the case. Hey guys, so for whatever reason, this next video clip I'm about to show you and the previous one didn't record with the audio when I screen recorded it. I don't know why. The first one did fine and then these ones didn't. And then when I went back to her Instagram to re-record them, they just weren't there anymore. So I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, sorry about it. You guys, I woke up this morning and I realized that I got two months qualification for the Vegas trip that's gonna be free for me and my girls. This was 33 weeks ago, um, finding out that she's qualified for the free Vegas trip. So from what, I, from my understanding, that's a leadership treat. Uh, trip. She posted about it on her story the other day that it was a leadership trip, which means that you do have to reach a certain level of like leadership or ranking in the business to even qualify for that. But again, we have come to find out that most of those things are not free. And the fact that she was driving herself there and back, like they're not paying for your gas. I can almost guarantee it that they're not paying for that gas. If they're supposedly supposed to pay for your airfare and for everything, why would you drive there and back? Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do even though I was like about to graduate and I just really wanted to travel, make money, all those things that we all want, but I was like... So this is a really good uh, point to bring up as well. So she shared somebody else's story from the business on hers that says this this is why the community has changed my life and knowing that i've played a little part in all of these girls journeys makes my heart so full and she's kind of painting around the room to all these girls looks like they're on some kind of retreat or meeting or something and so that's a big selling point when they're trying to get people to join these things is the community oh you get this great community of girls this great support group like whatever but from watching some of these other people who have left these these MLMs, the community is just another sham, basically. People in the business only look at you for dollar signs. They look at you as, I can use her to make money for myself. It's not, oh, she'd be a great friend, or oh, I want to be friends with her, or anything like that. It's, oh, I can use her to make money. Um, and then if you ever do take a step back from your business, your business, I put that in quotes because these people love to say that they own their own business, but they don't. It's not even close to the same thing. My mom owned her own business and not the same thing at all. But if you decide to take a step back from your business or you leave completely, these people will so fast just cut you off. They will completely cut you out of their life. They will block you on everything. They will talk bad about you. You're nothing to them anymore. So that doesn't seem like very strong of a community if when you decide to do something else that all of a sudden you're a terrible human being and nobody wants to be a part of you anymore so again just kind of another like facade to kind of rope people in lonely people really these people when they're recruiting they prey on lonely people or people who are going through trauma or something like that like they they take your weakness and they use it against you to rope you into this business. And that's, I mean, that's just one way because if somebody already has a great community around them, if somebody already has a great support system with their family or friends, they're not gonna feel like they need another community. But if somebody feels alone and feels like they have nobody, they're gonna get roped into, oh, I can have this great community of girls who are gonna love me and support me and I'm gonna make money doing it. But you're not. <laughs> you're gonna lose money doing it and these people are just gonna use you to climb to the top of the pyramid. Like that's, that's all that it is. Here's another thing about the community. So it says, but here's the thing. They told me I would have a community. I did not think I would bond so closely with a group of beautiful, compassionate women. I didn't think I would make friends. I didn't think it would be anything like this. This trip has changed my life and my perception of this business. It's only become greater. I've never wanted to succeed and help other people succeed so badly in my life. I can't wait to grow up with these girls and watch them accomplish their girl their goals. You know, she has this picture of her and like all the great friends that she's made. And you know what? I'm not gonna say that none of those people are her real friends because I have no idea. But from other per people's firsthand experiences in these businesses, 99% of the time, it's not your real friend. And even if they think 
that they are, they come to find out if anything ever happens that they're not there for them. <laughs> they're not their real friends. Again, they see them as dollar signs and as stepping stones. And it's not even people within the business that they see that way. I mean, these these businesses cause people to look at everyone in their life that way. Their friends, their family, everyone is just big fat dollar signs because if they can get them to buy product or to join the business, that makes them money and that's all they care about. And then the next slide says, with saying that, we are expanding our girl gang. We wanna help you and we want you to succeed. All it takes is saying yes. Let's advertise this beautiful, great community that empowers women and lifts everybody up and then ask them to join it. Make it look like this great community and this specific friend group you can join. You can join this friend group right here. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I'm literally here trying to open up your fucking eyes to tell you you are capable of it. You can be MMB, you can be AMM, you can be director. So that looked like a video call. Uh, they do these Zoom meetings all the time, these conference calls with their teams, and we'll probably be reacting to a lot of those. I just wanna point out the aggression. <laughs> the aggression, because that is a common theme that you guys will see within these calls. And if you go and watch Kiki Chanel's video, she does a ton of these where she reacts to these um, team calls. And that is a common theme, is the people who are speaking at these team calls are very aggressive, They they talk talk down to you, they basically yell at you. It's like getting scolded at school. And it's just like, why would you want that? Like, if you went to work every day at your normal job and your manager was just scolding you 24 seven and telling you to open up your effing eyes, I just can't get anyone to sign up for this credit card because that's a, a common thing and reason. You can do it. If you just open up your effing eyes, you can get people to sign up for this credit card. I would quit on the spot. I'm not even kidding. I would walk out the door and never come back. That's their tactic here. So we probably only got a third of the way through that opportunities highlight, but my camera's getting ready to die and this video is already gonna be long enough. So I'm sure we will come back to that later and look at more of her highlights. And I also wanna do a video reacting to the recruitment call that I got sent. Um, I'm really excited about that. Hopefully that'll be the next one that we do. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to do some more anti MLM content. So yeah, that is basically all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.